What's up, guys? Head up here to the hunt club today. Good to be at the house. It's uh, being right up in this cast, man. It's put me down. But we uh, come here and check these cameras and these food plots this morning. Come here and see what guys' country's like. Good old Buckingham, Virginia. It's about a about 50 minute ride for me from the house. Catfish, Beagle Man. Not from Buckingham. I live in Chesterfield County, but I hunt up here in Buckingham with some good guys. But, uh, yeah, check out these food plots and these cameras this morning. I'll get back with you. Talk to you soon. Yeah, I hear the club. Seeing, uh, what else going on. This food plot spray again. And this thing is looking good. It's probably the best plot I've had so far. Lord of mercy. Get this thing pumped up. We'll get this thing checked out, sprayed up. Like the deer been hitting it, eating these tops off right here. Let me check this camera. I can't remember if I turned it on last time I was here. Hopefully, I did. I'm gonna second guess myself. down and we'll get these uh cameras checked out i'll get back with you all right guys i'm back um just check uh for these camera cards you're gonna check them when i get back to the house um hit a little mock scrape over here mock scrape over here um so hopefully someone hit it get some on camera. I know muzzleloader season is coming up in a couple weeks. Um, food plots are definitely looking good this year. This is the first one I've done here. Uh, super pumped. Finally hand out a cast. I think it's a little rough looking. It's a little tight. It's a little swollen but working on it. Get that thing right. Um, I know my bow season ain't going to be this year. Pretty much done on that one. I got two weeks left of it. If that, um, and then um, muzzleloader comes in. I think it's first weekend in November. Um, hopefully we can. I can put some on the ground then. Hopefully I'll be ready anyway. Should be. That boy, boy Eric hunts in the club with us. Killed a nice buck over the weekend. Super buck. Um, probably one of the ones I've had on camera this year. I ain't 100% sure. Back in velvet, early summer. Um, let's see what the tower stand's like in here. Yeah, this is old tower stand here. Something I can get out of wind with. Oh, I gotta fix that. Yeah, it looks like the deer been coming out walking this power line, so that'd be perfect right there for sure. Definitely be perfect. But this is the scenery 
I had from the tower stand. Um, it's breathable. Super nice. My neighbor got rid of uh, some fence, uh, rid of his fence. I just took the pickets off of it. And this is what I did with it. Um, simply easy. Um, I think next spring I'm going to redo it. I'm going to take all this down, put up plywood, put windows in. Um, something I can take the kids with and be more silent. Um, my little one, she likes to she likes to hunt. As long as she's occupied, she's fine. But once this crunch time to kill a deer, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Well, here's the other view here. Ain't too bad. Let's definitely watch across that power line there. Um, first deer I killed out of this stand, not this actual stand, but when I had my platform with the um, ground blind, killed a little four pointer across the road here. Killed him. Then my big six. This is when I had my my stand over here in this area before I moved it, so I could watch down this power line. That big six pointer I killed came out came out from over here came on out shot him right here there's the door now but other than that it ain't too bad in here that's a nice little stand need to do some stabilizing on it got some fixing to do other than that ain't too bad for a cheap stand at home build i mean something simple gravy Something to keep you occupied for a little while anyway. Well, other than that, guys, I'm going over to the other stand, or to the other food plot. Check that out, and I'll get back with you. Talk to you soon. All right, fellas. Head over here to check this other, uh, these other cameras in this other stand. See what, uh, see what we got going on over here. Tell you what, man, these uh, these soybean fields ain't about right. We uh, we pretty much got 1,100 acres all total right here, guys. Uh, both sides of the hard surface road, down this dirt road, all the way down to the Cumberland State Forest. Uh, it's not a bad plot. We uh. We got about 15 members total, I believe. Um, we do run dogs when gun season comes. Um, <clears throat> it's a hit or miss weekend sometimes. Um, I know like the first two weekends is gonna be slow. We, you know, the dogs they've been put up all all year long, so they uh they'll be itching just to get off the dag on chain when it comes time. Yeah, a couple more weeks to go. There'll be muzzleloader, and then uh, we open up gun season on the 17th. Time to chop them tailgates and get them hounds on the ground. It's been a long time. We, uh, this property here is pretty much all pines. From here all the way down to the swamp, is pretty much pines. Um, I do have a couple hardwood bottoms, a lot of ravines in here. Um, but other than that, man, this, this, this block of woods here it produces a bunch of deer. Um, constantly see bears in here. Only bad part is never see it during, you know, when you're in the stand. Uh, most time the dogs are running them out. That's about the only time I've seen them. But uh, it's a good block. I've been with this club for going on three years, I, I believe now. And uh, I tell you what, I couldn't, I couldn't have a single complaint about hunting with these guys. You know, they they uh they put the dogs on the ground, put in the time of training them. They uh, train them in the off season, field trial with them. You know. They gotta, they gotta get their legs stretched up before they hit the ground. So, if not, they're gonna end up tearing up some pads and everything else. Um, 
I do have a joining club over here. They are uh, pretty cool guys. You know, our dogs jump in with, with ours. Or, uh, our dogs jump in with theirs and their dogs jump in with ours. We all team up. Put them on the ground. Uh, you know, that's the way it should be. It should be a brotherhood. But uh, other than that, let me, uh, let me get this tree here out the way. And then we'll, uh, we'll go check this camera. Uh, let's see what we got here.